Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Today, um, didn't really do much. I went and got some food. I saw my girlfriends for a bit. Yeah. What about you? Oh. Uh, I, I didn't think that we were doing the whole gifts thing. I, I mean, you got it. Um, oh. Yeah, this, I, yeah, it's, it's cute, um, I mean, I, I like Disney, I, I like it, um, what's that, I, did I get you, um, I, th I kind of just thought we weren't doing gifts, um, look, I, I really didn't want to do this today, but, you were just like begging to come over and there was kind of a reason why I was saying that today is just not a good day. Um, I don't know how to say this and I didn't want to be that cruel and heartless and do this on Valentine's Day. Honestly, I think that we need a break and I feel like it's been a long time coming. Um, yeah, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, it, if it wasn't obvious to you that I haven't really been in this for a while now, then I'm sorry to break it to you that that's the truth and if it wasn't obvious, I, it's not really my problem or fault, you know? I mean, you shouldn't have been so oblivious to how I felt and what was going on. I mean, most days we talk, right? But, I mean, lately, my responses have been scarce and very short, and you should just know that that's not like me, and I really try to drop hints about this, and I try to wait to see if I felt different, but I, I just don't, uh, um, honestly, this, this, it's a really nice gift, and I'm sorry, but I, you know, I'm sure you don't want me to keep this, and you, you want me to keep this, something that you just bought. You could just return it and get your money back here. Just, just take it and I don't want it. Listen, I was thinking about this for a while and how, how to approach this, but honestly, sometimes you can be, yeah, you're very insecure, you know, and you would tell me things like, what would I ever do without you? And I could never imagine my life without you. And like, I'm that, I'm the love of your life. And I mean, we're just so young, you know? And we've only been dating a short while, like three months. And I just felt like you were coming on too strong, too quick. And honestly, I, I, I wasn't looking for anything super, super serious. I mean, I'm still really young and so are you. And you should 
go out there into the world and see what else is out there, you know? And I just... I just feel like this has been a long time coming. I mean, you know that party that I threw last weekend? Do you remember how you weren't invited to it? That's because at every party, you're constantly worried about me talking to other guys and if guys are talking to me and just always like right there by my side like a lost puppy and I just, I, I can't handle that, you know? I mean, you know, you're a great guy. You can find someone who is a better match for you and uh, somewhere out there, I'm sure there is someone who can handle all of your insecurities and your imperfections. And that's okay, because that makes you you. And I just don't think you and me mesh well. You know? Yeah, I just... Is this about who? Oh my god. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Mark is nobody, okay? He's just my friend. Uh, we had like a fling in the past, but that's been long gone and long over, and you should have known that, and I told you that. So if you just couldn't get that through your head, then truly I am sorry, but if I'm being honest, there's just, I think when you get to a point where everything the other person does pretty much bothers you or annoys you, it's probably over, you know? Look, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, I'm just being honest. And I'm not the only one who's seen this, your behavior and how we are as a couple. All of my friends see it. They've, you know, just said, like, what are you doing with that guy? <laughs> He's not your type. You're too young to be tied down. And uh, he hangs around you like a lost little puppy. And it's kind of pathetic, you know? <laughs> it's their words, not mine, okay? <sighs> Look. This really wasn't something that I wanted to do on Valentine's Day, but I mean, read all of the texts that you just sent me over the last two hours, begging to come over to my house. I just decided that I might as well not wait anymore, and that this just needs to be done. I mean, yeah, we've had some fun times, I guess, but, you know, it just, when you don't feel it with somebody, you don't feel it, and you can't blame me for that, and honestly, I think you just need to let the idea of there being an us go, you know? What about, what about that, that girl, Sandra, Sally? Sally. What about Sally? She's weird and into strange things like you and not that that's a bad thing, but I mean, you guys just seem like you're a better match than we are. Why don't you give her a call? Give her a text? Listen, don't don't get upset, okay? Don't don't do the whole tears thing. I mean, how many times have we been there already? Come on. Too many times to count, honestly. But there's no reason to cry and be really upset right now. I mean, we've only been dating for three months. You said that you loved me, and how many times have I ever said it back to you? Oh, that's right zero times. You just came on too, too strong. 
for my liking. And I told you from the beginning I wasn't looking for anything serious. And then you dropped the L-bomb on me at our one month mark. I, I know that you think that I'm like the love of your life. <laughs> but I can tell you right now, I ain't her, okay? I'm not that. I'm not the love of your life. And somewhere in that head of yours, you've convinced yourself that I am. Now listen, I know that I'm pretty great. I mean, let's be honest here. I know that I'm pretty great and, you know, I get a lot of attention from guys. And I have a lot of friends and I go to parties. But... It's just, if we just don't mesh, and I don't want to keep reiterating that to you, and I, I'm just trying to help you here, to make you see that I'm not the love of your life, and I don't think you actually love me, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if you actually did, but I think it's more of an infatuation than love, okay? I mean, I've had to do this with other guys, okay, you're not the only one if that makes it feel better. I've had to let guys down because they pretty much want to like wifey me up and that's just not me. Do you understand? Okay, I, I know that I've met your mom, but if you go back and remember how I met your mom, uh, you pretty much tricked me into meeting her. Um, you said that we were going to dinner and then your mom was there and honestly put me in a really uncomfortable situation. You know, I, I didn't want to meet your mom. I didn't really want to meet any of your family. I didn't really care to meet any of your friends, honestly. Uh, it's, it, I, I told you I didn't want it to go that far and that serious. I warned you, and if you didn't pick up the clues, then maybe you need to seek some help. Maybe like a marriage and family counselor, you know, before you really get into a serious relationship and you mess it up because of the way you are, you know? I, look, I know that this isn't easy for you. It's not easy for me either. I mean, I don't want to have to, I don't even really know correct words. I, okay, let's, let's be honest here. You know, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but if I'm, gonna need to be harsh to get my point across to you, then that's what I'm gonna have to do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like there's like a screw loose up there. So I don't even know, but I mean, for like a month I was dropping hints about this and you just ignored them because you thought I would think that you were in love with me, but oh, sweetie, it's you are delusional. It's it is not real. Whatever we had wasn't anything serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who just texted me? That's it's nobody. Okay. Yeah. It's Mark. So what? I told you that that was a past thing and that it's not happening, so you don't need to fret. There's nothing to worry about. And even if I was to get back with Mark, it wouldn't be any of your concern because we're broken up. <laughs> I don't even think you could call this like a breakup if we weren't really together in the first place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. 
the last thing I want you to do is to like go around telling everybody, not even that we have that many people in common anyway, the last thing I want you to do is go around telling everybody that you're my ex, because mm -mm, you do not have that title, and I don't want people to think that, and it's nothing against you, I just, I don't like to have a long list of exes, you know? So, if you could just do me that favor and not tell anybody, that would be great. You could tell your mom, that's totally fine. Even though I'm pretty sure she didn't really like me anyway, so she's, you know, probably gonna be stoked that this is over. And you can go find a girl that your mom adores and that you really get along with and have things in common with, you know? And, uh, this necklace, I wanted to talk to you about that. I know that you gave this to me, but it's Tinkerbell, and I really love it, and I can't find it anywhere else, so do you mind if I can just keep this? <gasps> really? Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Thanks. Alright, well... I have to um, prep and set up for my uh, Valentine's Day party that I'm hosting tonight, so you know where the door is, so uh, this was a good talk, and um, I'm so glad that we could do this, and I will, I'll be seeing you around, okay, my friend, have a great rest of your Valentine's Day, alright.